Good evening. It is evening for me uh, to the SpinCast Cycling Show. I'm your host, Brian Kelson, as I adjust my camera. I am actually awake, surprisingly. I am on the East Coast. I'm in New York City right now. Uh, uh, Lisa Reese, Brian White, Casey Shum joining us uh, live and direct Sunday night. Uh, it is whatever technically eight o'clock my time. So I know what it's like for Brian now. I do need to toot my horn a little bit. I, ser I shared this in the Discord, our personal Discord, right? Not only do I have the setup, I have a microphone that sounds good, right? And hardline ethernet. I have an ethernet cable plugged in to the wall. I brought my own ethernet and this room had ethernet. I was, I was gonna be standing by with hot mobile hotspot, whatever it was. I was in the taxi earlier driving in or coming in from the airport and I was testing with Lee. Lee's like, I saw you in the taxi. This is, this is the dedication to the show. I'm, I'm wired up. Look, I got hotel coffee. Freshly spilled. Hotel coffee. <laughs> overflowed. I didn't really spill it technically. It overflowed because I was talking. But you're not getting that deposit back. All right. There's a lot to talk about this week. You'd think there wouldn't be that much because of so many updates like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and so on and so forth. But I think we do kick it off with the uh, first week of ZRL, ZRL, Z, Z, Z Racing Link. What's, what's this thing called again? Well, I we say Z, but like I still say ZRL, even though right. it is Z. Hey, before we jump into the actual show, I just want to say, BK, yeah, you have better audio than like ninety percent of the ESPN, CBS, and all the yeah, I know. <laughs> hotel. I, yeah, yeah. So the only thing I did wrong was I should have done this. Yeah, yeah. So didn't we have I? So on my show, we talk about <laughs> audio on this show, or my show at least, right? The lack of preparedness for, hey, I'm going to come on a CNN or whatever, major news, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, yeah. whatever it is, whatever your your flavor is. There's so many people in hotel rooms, hotels, because they're traveling around the country. There, they're doing sports like, like the, the guy talking about Shohei Otani or whatever. Remember the yeah, MLB the example guy. that I had where it's yeah. like, come on. Producer got to be it like. It sounded he, like he was eating his mic on a TT. Oh, he was on like, the, the the laptop. Sweat, so yeah, he was on the laptop, laptop, laptop mic, and it's yeah. like, this is even this is my backup setup because you know what my main setup is, right? That's the uh, the SM fifty eight B, right, or SM five B, whatever camera what it is. But this is the the headsets that I usually used to use in ra a radio broadcast that I would do with uh, the professional sports teams that I used to work with or the college sports teams. So thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. I would be more bummed out if my audio sounded terrible. Like the first show, that's a that's a trivia. The first show oh, I had yeah. terrible audio because I didn't have it set up and it was on my webcam. So I, I'm I'm batting not a thousand with my audio, but I I feel like today is a pretty good kickoff for how good how how good the show is. I don't know about the content wise, but it sounds good. All right. <laughs> We want to go into we want to go into Zwift. Well, wait, wait, hold on. I, I want to go into Zwift Z, ZRL and sort of like the indoor cycling season that's come out. But I think the one thing that we sort of touched on last week, which was sort of this byline, and I said it was the lead. We, they buried the lead with the Zwift uh, HUD update and all the other stuff. It's the bike upgrading. Right. Didn't we touched on this a little bit, but it's actually there there's yeah. more stuff coming out about the bike upgrades and the garage sorting. Is that what it's called? Like there's no deletion. Well, I don't know any details about it. If I there came out this week, I don't know, but it says garage sorting. So I don't know what that means. So maybe yeah. maybe Casey, Casey, Casey might know more or Lee. But. Yeah, the, the the details that I've seen on the sort, the only specific details, you know, when I hear sorting, it's like, you know, all these websites you go to, you can pick, you know, highest, yeah. the lowest, alphabetical, whatever. The only concrete things that I've heard the insiders mentioned was you could do something to prioritize more frequently or more recently used. Like a so loadout. Like, right. Well, not... The way well, I took it was it not necessarily a loadout, but your first five jerseys would be the last five you put on your avatar. So a lot of us that rotate oh, through like the same ones, they'd it's be like they'd be at 
they'd float to the top or something like that, which that'd be better than nothing. If if I don't yeah. have my choice in sorting, at least I only use three or four bike frames because that's all that really matters, right? Mm -hmm. And I only use four or five jerseys because I either use the cool jerseys or the required jerseys. So um, as long as those couple float to the top. Now, the loadouts would be great. I I don't hold out hope that we'll actually get a one-button no. loadout. Like a true kind of, favorite, yeah. yeah. All right. There better be upgrades to the Buffalo bike. Otherwise, I'm going to be ticked. Well, isn't there an article you can pull up from the uh, Zwift Insider where they actually have... They, yeah, show, like, they show a couple pictures and say, like, yeah. level just, one is you get 100 grams off of whatever the bike. Yeah. And you're like... Mm. Oh, that's it? it? it isn't it? Yeah. Not, it's just lighter? Does that help yeah. with aerodynamics? They give you 100 grams. No. And it's too cheap. Like we were pointing out, like what they mm -hmm. were like reckless speculation. It was like a hundred thousand drops for stage one. Like it? people have tens of millions of drops. Like you need to make yeah. these cost more. <clears throat> like so, you got to work for it. Yeah, um, don't 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 make the same level mistake that somebody can buy every upgrade for every bike in the first week, right? Like you you got to earn it. Well, right. that's what I was saying. They had got to be like five to eight million drops per upgrade. Like, because for me with 38 million drops, and I know I don't have the most, but I had more than a lot, I'd have to plan out. Like if upgrading, I think I'm riding the, I was riding the Trek around the past few weeks. Like if I want to upgrade to the Trek, the Madone, the Trek Madone, and it's going to cost 42 million drops. It's like, okay, am I going to full upgrade this or maybe do two upgrades on this? But isn't so, there only one trek besides the time the, trial? But isn't there only one trek? Is there? I don't even think there is a time trial trek. Is there? Uh, all I know is the trek Imanda you get from the Everest challenge, and then the trek Madone. And I, I got oh, yeah, the trek Madone because okay. I have one in real life. But that's that's it. But yeah, so like if and then like Aunt Bev. Okay, so this goes back. Aunt Bev starts this winter in Zwift, where I've been tooling around on Zwift since 2016, 17. I should have a faster bike than Aunt Bev because I've rode 60 some thousand kilometers. I've put 95 hours or whatever the number is into Zwift. So Aunt Bev showing up and want a fully upgraded bike. Sorry, Aunt Bev, you're gonna have to do your time and ride. Wait, wait, so wait, wait. That's wait, wait, my wait, wait, opinion. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on a second. You're yes, saying because you've put time in, equipment should be better for you. Because I've yeah. earned the in-game currency to get you like just like with uh i don't know like world of warcraft i know lee talks about it that's so i'm going to use that example you grind through the levels and you get the more powerful potions armor whatever the magic is in world of which warcraft. is like honestly like 99 percent of every other video game in the, yeah. in the world does that sort of you know right let's say some but i'm i'm saying that if you because you can farm like I used to do this in Diablo 2, where I would I would save my upgrade or the sort of skill tree points, which isn't which isn't sort of money, and I would only spend it on the one I wanted to go with. Because a lot of people mm -hmm. diversify it, but if somebody is riding a lot, like Aunt Bev is riding a lot, and she's never bought anything, and she has plenty to spend on, like you've spent it on all of everything, right? Like I have a bunch of bikes that I don't care about, and I yeah. wasted drops because we didn't really have a uh, there was economic no system, right? And so I wish I would have had the drops that I spent that I didn't spend on the thing. One for garage organization, but two is I would have just bought it on the bike that I want to do and just upgraded it at maximum out. It, it, I mean, you're, I can you're, understand you're, that. You're not you're you're saying that because you've put time in it. If somebody comes in at ten level ten and you're level seven, you're level ninety, you're obviously going to get the drops from all the stuff you've done and everything you've done, and you want to be able to just have that advantage. I that I understand, but if somebody yeah. arms only drops and spends zero money and only buys it on like the one bike they want i think that that's okay no that, that perfectly trying... is yeah i was gonna say i think you're just and, trying and to eliminate case, guys yeah. come coming into the game getting to level 10 and getting stage five upgrade yeah. at level 10 that's like that's exactly what they I... screwed it up with yeah they screwed it up with the xp and levels then they reverted mm -hmm. Are they going to do this again for the bike and be like, oh, crap, we made it way too easy. And then everyone has stage five bikes. So you know what? We're going to reverse it okay, and make I, it super hard now. I don't, seems... know how Casey, I don't know how Casey feels because he's kind of like waiting. He's biding his time. 
So I'm not, I don't, I don't agree with you on this. I don't agree with it. Oh, they messed it up. It's, you know what? They didn't mess it up. What they messed up was accumulating drops because they have nothing else going on. And there's people that have like just stockpiles of it because they didn't do anything earlier. And so that is true. The arg- I think the argument is the fr- and then I think Casey's in agreement with me is the frustration is Zwift waiting so long and now they're just doing it where it's new it's new user sort of economic system and they're just going to allow the people that have you know Uncle Scrooge you know you know tanks full of, of money they're going to they're going to what they want but all the new people are going to be like oh it's I'm going to have to grind I have to do my time I have to do so that's just sort of like the carrot for the people the new people. They yeah, painted so, themselves into that corner. Um, yes, yeah. that's that's my and argument. that's that's the struggle because thinking at it from the first perspective of myself, I think I think it's a mistake if I'm able to fully upgrade more than a single road bike and a single TT bike with the currency I currently have, which is about the same as Brian White, mid thirty millions drops. Right, if I can fully upgrade two bikes my two fastest bikes that's about the limit i think that i should be able to do with that amount of currency right now to make this not just a boring thing if i can come in with 34 million drops and upgrade half of my garage to the max it's too cheap but on the flip side to that is zwift has to cater to the person who's not got all that time in that wants the they want they want that next carrot mm-hmm. to be one ride away not three weeks away and Zwift's going to cater to that over us and th- I, i'm afraid this is going to be really boring for us really quickly because we're going to go in there and we're going to upgrade everything we got with the money that we've already got and probably still have a couple million sitting for the next bike that they roll out so i agree I, and i am in the minority i, I guess i should say mm-hmm. i'm in the i guess more serious upper end of the indoor cycling world obviously not elite but kind of a you know better than your aunt bev i know i've done a ride where i've got a hundred thousand drops in a single ride now i was climbing i was not with a pace partner that's that was a caveat i've got one hundred and ten thousand drops off one single ride in three hours riding around clink, uh climbing so that first upgrade someone I, i'm not the only one that's going to be capable of that so in one ride i could get the upgrade you, you know what i'm saying yeah but so that's an, what it, i'm saying so is it the okay so this is the thing is they need to expand the upgrade ability like the first step is a hundred thousand the next step is more and more oh, and it i don't needs know if to go doing, exponential like yeah, hundred thousand million, right, million right, right, yeah, three yeah. million yeah, yeah that's seven million that is the way that they solve it i don't know if they're doing that but i'm with you on the hey you can yeah. do a three-hour ride that's all climbing and get enough for an upgrade i think that that's yeah. valid enough for an upgrade i know you don't think so because you're like i i did a bunch of it then remember I, you guys ride around yeah. all the time and collect you yeah. double dip like i'm out I, I bought a bunch of stuff i don't want and i didn't double dip from a from a <clears throat> from a standpoint of farming xp and drops now i wish i would have because okay. there is something they're doing with the drops they didn't do anything with the drops for years here's reckless speculation if they make the upgrades a ridiculous amount of drops, how much busier will the pace partners be? Oh, oh my God. God. Everyone in Zwift I, will literally only well, that was ride the thing. pace partner. Right. That was the thing. Remember when the first, when the pace partners first came out, I would do the pace partners because I needed to farm to buy the yeah. upgrades that I needed. And the pace partners were terrible for like, st- you had to be right next to it. And it was not like a bonus, and they didn't do the two x the two point five x. I think they went, maybe I can't remember what it was, but it was it, it was so hard you got kicked around all of the places. So it was like the grind. They fixed it, made it easier, which is better. Which we were, it's this sort of like, well, I went to school and I walked uphill both ways, you know. But it's the grumpy old man that screams at clouds. There's a point where we're like, hey, the new people need to have something that they're going to have motivation for besides a route badge and a challenge is. Hey, if I do pace partner stuff because I'm going to get a good workout or I'm going to do my zone two, I'm going to be able to do this thing and I'm going to upgrade. They're going to be more inclined to do the things they need to do to upgrade rather than it's so unattainable because we catered to the the Uncle Scrooges of the world. Not that we we purposely saved like you guys didn't purposely save it. I think you guys bought a bunch of stuff, but you just had 
a lot of time writing and you you've accumulated a ton. I don't think the number of that many that I think most people don't have a huge bank of drops. They just don't because they don't do like yeah. you guys do. It, no, and I think I'm, I'm I'll like say 10 million. Yeah, I can look at the, what the I have drops right now. riding with a pace partner come very easily. I have a one of my Jersey Unlock uh, gurus. She's I didn't even know what her FTP is 100 watts cruise with the pace partner. She has like 116 million drops. So like if you just sit and ride 116 with, million. Yeah, she's like, and that's all she does. She just rides the pace partners and does Jersey Unlock rides. And she does. She'll hop into a team time trial to get a Jersey. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. At one she point, Dr. Weebles has a, like 100 million or something because he wasn't spending them on anything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How, so, how do, you, how do you view your stuff? Count? I, 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 I use that mobile app. app. Yeah. <laughs> Is it on the mobile app? <laughs> it is. Yeah. If you click on the mobile app, yeah, I'll take a look. Hit your face. I'll go I can't go to Swift. I just logged into Swift.com and I'm like, I don't know how to see you it. You can see it on Swift.com if you go to your profile, but it's, it's a if little bit. It's hard to find. I know how much you enjoy the companion app, Brian. So <laughs> check my in. profile. Oh, I have eleven point two million drops. I have ten point nine million. And yeah. see that ten million number is still gonna be you guys are still gonna be top. I frivolously spent probably stuff for that I didn't know. Oh, I bought a bunch of I bought that lip. I was probably at like sixteen bike. million. I bought a bunch of stuff I shouldn't have bought. I, I regretted it as soon as I was like, I was like, I got nothing. This is, I think I did it. This is like 2021. I think I had a whole bunch and, you know, we were just nothing. I'm like, I just bought everything. I went through and I, just, I, <laughs> I, no, I, bought, I, alphabetically, I bought everything alphabetically. And now I regret it because I can't delete the stuff. I don't even want the money back. Because now that's the problem is that's why it'll be good if they make like a favorite's bikes because that's what happens is I had to scroll all the way down to specialize. It takes a while to go through every single bike brand. You know, it's alphabetical order because I went and frivolously bought a bunch of crap that doesn't make any difference. They could do crafting. Like they could do low budget stuff, but then if you buy it, you could could like, what is it? uh, What's in World of Warcraft? I think they should have a bike shop in on a route oh, yeah, this you is have to all pick great the ideas. route we're gonna do this you gotta pick the route and then you gotta ride to the bike yeah, shop it's, to this spend is the drops yeah. and it's like goes into first person mode and you're like i'm at the bike shop i'll take this i'll take this and then you have to ride to actually get to the shop but no you, you, your your stuff. Stuff. you can sell you... your stuff and they what is it the thing where you you, you take the anvil and the consignment. hammer consignment no, no no not consignment but in in in, in diablo <laughs> yeah, you, you, you take save money items. buy a bike stand right yeah, yeah. no but buy you, a bike no, stand like yeah, you buy a bike, oh. whatever it is, or a, you, you have the cubby hole or whatever it is. But, but you're crafting. Yeah, you're crafting. You're, cra- you're taking the stuff you don't want. Like I would sell a bunch of my bikes to get a lower value to then use it to, like I would sell it at like, you know, f- 35% off of what it was worth. I bought it for a million. I get it for whatever, $65,000, right? Or 65 like- million or 65, whatever it is. That would be a smart move, but they're not going to do that because it, <laughs> they barely got the HUD updated. It'd be fun, right? You have like, was it like Rust where you've got the recycler? If you take your bike to the recycler, you'll get 15 cogs and you'll get, yeah. you know, it's steel scrap and all that. And you can go craft something else. Oh, out. That would That's make me actually want to play Zwift. That would make <laughs> you want to play Zwift. But we should go into ZRL. Yeah, let's go. We kind of got that. sidetracked here. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I derailed it. I derailed it. But it was good. To, good discussion to go like, this is the, that's the, that's now the lingering lead story is and i think it's bigger you're right it is bigger than I think it's so much bigger the upgrading yeah. bikes not even the the, gra- the garage we are fine you can finally do something more than just purchase something in zwift yeah that but is huge is- that's a new way to actually spend your your hard worn drops your drops your sweat drops did, did they give us timing on this because if it's anything like the hud they announced it now and they'll release it May, three days May, before May, they announce their summer plans for next year, right? I don't like, even know when the season starts, and I don't know when the season ends. They'll release so. it in May, a week before the summer teaser for what yeah. they're doing, you know, over the summer. So, yeah. so yeah. ZRL the season, the season, the season of Zwift has started. ZRL mm-hmm. who raced it? I, I did not. It. All right, well, I raced it. Team time trial to start One of the four. Twenty five percent of us raced it. Yeah, uh, Brian's on a roster. He he's not. He didn't race though. Brian White. Um, uh, right. Yeah, I'm racing this Tuesday. Okay. I had parent-teacher night. Otherwise, I was going to. Okay. 
Yeah, so we race team time trial, pretty s standard team time trial, Doce, France, or whatever Wait a minute. was the route. The first yes. race was a team time trial? Mm -hmm. First race was a team time trial. I think it's uh, six weeks, I think, is this first round. I think this first one might be a little shorter. It's it's a six-week round, time trial, two scratch races, time trial, two scratch races. So it's 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 two time trials, four scratch races. Mm. They did adjust some point stuff, and, and I don't want to go too deep into how they adjusted the general points for ZRL this season, but they did make it where you – the being good at the end is a little more important now than just accumulating points mid race. I right? They have, took I, away some of the time stuff and some of that stuff. I already have a question. <clears throat> yep. Who won last year? Last no season. Great. No idea. Well, no I didn't get who, 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 who won who won the week? No idea. No idea. Why is why are we even talking about this then? We won our division. <laughs> until <laughs> until yesterday who who has and now we're now we're four last, in a different two division. the two rounds and but, who is it's wait, like why does this matter i i saw in the drops say something about rebalancing and then you just said that so they just re changed divisions so they uh, the first i saw of it was just a couple hours ago so it's still pretty fresh and raw for me so i don't know when they actually announced that they rebalanced but we were division two on Tuesday. We raced, we poured everything we had into it and we rocked a team time trial. Cause anybody who, who watches me and follows along, like that is what mm -hmm. I do, right? I crush a team time trial, but we crushed a team time trial to the point that they put us as fourth place. We are now the fourth place finisher in division one instead of the winner in division two, because they decided to reshuffle all the divisions this week after the team time trial. They say they're reshuffling <laughs> with the adjustments from the team time trial, but not just the team time trial. <laughs> they're saying that it's they're saying it's what? seventy percent an ELO based algorithm, ten percent power curved based, and twenty percent team time trial. But if you look at the two divisions that I shuffled between and you stack up the 26 teams, we are exactly seated in the order of our times. The top 13 team time trials are in division one and the next 13 are in division two. Eight of them didn't even complete a team time trial. So the eight <laughs> teams that didn't participate in week one moved to division two. And I'm like, you're assuming that I've got a kick butt team that can do scratch racing. And that may not be the case. I'm mean, our team X team was getting our teeth kicked in, in division one um, of EMEA for years. And we would podium every team time trial. And we were last place on every scratch race. Yeah. Okay. Well, when I, when I was in. racing ZRL, I had the same team for three years and we destroyed team time trials. We were so dialed, we wouldn't win anything else, but team time trials, we would be like 40 seconds ahead of the second place team. And it would, like, we just knew. And that's the problem is, if you base it off of a team time trial with a dialed team, you're like, <laughs> you're yeah. in like totally I, wrong division. I, I, I have a question. Yep. How do you know which category you need to okay. be in? Is it voluntary yeah. at the beginning? You okay. Yeah, I'm getting Yeah, so... The division, no, they, they place your team in the divisions based on who's registered in your team. Your your team is categorized based on the old school Zwift categories, the A, B, C, D right. categories. So it's old categories. So we're submitted as a B team in the America's East division. They put all the B cat teams together and they place this, they split us into division one, division two, division three, before we ever raced based on who was registered on our team. And then we did a team time trial and they said, oh, never mind. We're going to adjust you this way. <laughs> and what, what it's even funnier about it is I'm like, I could go, I could add Brian White to my roster now. Like I, if they would have kept us in division two, I could have gone and grabbed four more rock star division, you know, category B guys and stuck them on my roster once they locked it in. 
once they did the shuffle. Like this is open for so, so you were allowed to race at this set division at the set whatever category you were in. Yeah, and then they readjusted. Yep, and we won. Now, like like when they readjusted last year, like if the first week was a scratch race. So if you got first place in division two and you got the points for first place and they reseeded you and moved you up to division one, you kept your winning points because you won the scratch race you were in. We won the team time trial we were in, but now we're awarded points based on a fourth place finish against the division one guys because we're now division one and it was a timed based race, not a points based race. And I'm like, I, this just all feels like this, these seasons have, there's what, five seasons through the, the winter for ZRL. They should, this is only six weeks. Live with your ELO, whatever divisions you set up, be aggressive between the first round and the second round about reshuffling. But once you've locked into a round, leave them. Leave them alone. But didn't they? they I remember, when, I remember when I first did it, Lara. I didn't think I did the first two seasons, and I was in A's. We were uh, Penvela was in yeah. A's, right? This is during the pandemic, and it was if you. It, this is one of the rules. It didn't happen with us, but if you were uh, a, a C and you raced hard and you and you did well, you would be upgraded to a B. But you can mm-hmm. continue racing. Is this different yep. than that, or is this? The no, same that's thing similar, as that. well. That's that's a different part of the rules. But if you get upgraded after you've started and completed, I think four races within your grouping, you can stay through the end of that round. Um, but like, if people got upgraded this week, if if I would have blown out my B and went to an A this week, I'm out. I I got to go find a different team. My team stays as a B team. So we didn't move from like A to B. We moved from the top tier B or from the middle tier B to the top tier B because it's it's 13 teams in each grouping. The root of all of this is, number one, what ZRL said they did for the rankings doesn't line up with what we're seeing because they're saying that the TT was only 20% of the seating and that they were only reshuffling after the TT slightly based on the new knowledge they had for the TTT. They replied to my comment on Facebook directly saying that. No, 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 no. You misunderstand. Only a small portion of the team time trial was the overall influence. Like I can literally stack the 26 teams in my two divisions and they perfectly line up with a division break. That isn't a coincidence. And then it, they pushed back at another person for a similar thing where the other person was like, well, I'm just going to tell my team not to race the team time trial next time. And they'll automatically get bumped to the second, the division. And they're like, no, 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 no. ELO is the biggest portion of this in past results. And just if you skip the first week, you're not automatically down. And I'm like, then why are all eight teams? There's no way that all eight teams that skipped the first week in my division are not, are are in the bottom half. Like there's no way. I'm trying Experience. not to lose my. I'm trying. Not, I'm trying not to just turn off my yeah, mic it, and go to sleep. <laughs> but the, and only because it's like I still don't understand. But I'm trying to trying to find a reason. Is the reason because this this is a anti cheating thing to yep. say? Hey, you're not you're not in this right category, so we're not going to annul you. We're going to move you up. No, they no? assigned us division two last week based on who was registered. And now they're changing from it previous data ready. or yeah. from 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 past seasons and the roster that you had submitted. You have to submit so many. You don't have to have a full roster, but you have to submit so many. And they seed you based on who's on your roster and your past team results. That's what I'm saying. That's their seeding. They made that decision. Live with it. Right. Yes. OK, I agree. You explain. That's exactly what I needed to hear is yeah. they're not leaving with it. And if, if you come, if you're a brand new team, they have no data on you to seed you, you're seeded, you do really well, they move you up or they move you down. Right. You used so, to move up that's at the I'm... end of the season. Like if you right. were a C, uh, say if you were, div, you know, division C, C3, and you won, you'd go to like C2. And if you won C2 or did well, you might go to C1. Like there's right. different tiers of B, C, D, A. 
this this round only goes through early October, right? In early October, the winner of C3 and maybe you know more than the winner, but a couple C3s move up to C2, a couple C2s move up to C1, the bottom shuffle. I went through this with Team X and they always said, you know, between between those rounds you would move. The problem with Team Experimental is we were always like ninth out of 13 in the mm. final rankings because ha there was always three or four teams that just didn't show up for half the races and those guys would get to move down and i'm like we literally have to not race for yeah for that's what i was just gonna say to, to move down like they it's, have to be more aggressive about well, you, or well, say now, you have to race all the rides to move down and i was downgrade, just thinking right? that is like there's this sort of now there's a precedent set that yeah. now everyone's like oh they're gonna readjust us might as well not go hard or right. might as well not go deep and in, deep into the well and try to bury ourselves because we want to do well and wherever we are we just want to do well now it's more of like well they're going to readjust it so i'll just not leave it all out on the table because there's not you casey i'm just saying in a general yeah. sense of people that race to stay under the radar uh the old manipulation was in like you sub your sub 20 minutes whatever that thing was is you know and that is gonna that's gonna affect people just pushing them to the limit and just racing free. Like we want free, like racing free in a free mind sense of like, yeah. I'm going to go deep. It's a team time trial. I'm mentally prepared to go deep. I don't care where it is, blah, 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 go deep, leave it all on the course. Everyone's like, Hey, GG's at the end. Boom, boom, boom. And that's, that just is now altered after one race. Yeah. The, the hard part about this. So I, I disagree with them shuffling at all, right? You, you see them, you leave them. There's six week rounds. Every six weeks you can reshuffle, right? It, you're the league. You have an opportunity to reshuffle every six weeks based on results. Do that and move on. And then when I comment publicly, like this goes back to a lot of what Lee rants about from time to time. Yeah, right. <laughs> when, when I when I comment on it publicly, it makes it look like sour grapes. I'm not saying that we aren't going to be competitive in Division One. I. I think my team's going to be fairly competitive in Division One. We're not going to be an opportunity to win it, but we'll be we'll be competitive. It, it's a team upgrade, not individually being upgraded, and then that moves you guys up. They just they right. didn't change your category. No, we're bees. We're all bees. You're, you're all bees, but you're moving up because the team yeah. collective on right. on uh, uh, WTRL or whoever runs it, right, is doing their evaluation and they're moving you as a team up. You're yeah. not you're not you're not getting like Mullins and me or Mullins and I when we both got dinged for the echelon thing. It's not an individual in your team collective. It's just like, hey, you guys all worked really well together and we're going to move you up. Yeah, think about it similar to like the Sunday Race Club where they've got, but but they're teams and not right, individuals exactly. where they have cat one, two, three, four, right? It, yeah. They just, they said, oh, based on the results of round one, Brian White, you were in the bottom 25%, so you're cat four. You're in the, you know, 25 to 50, so you're cat three. That's yeah. what they did with the team, basically, is at the end of, they, they, they stuck them all back in. That's what it appears like right. they've done. So, and this is where, this is a bigger issue that there's two more parts to this that I really struggle with. And I don't want to dwell on it too much, but I, uh, there's a couple parts to focus on this. I got a lot of pushback of the, you know, the classic Swift apologist stuff on Facebook when I actually <laughs> posted it and questioned it. The one comment was ask for a refund. And you know, that's the smart Alec comment, right? It's free racing. Well, no, wait a minute, guys, this isn't free racing. WTRL is on the payroll of Swift. They are a subcontractor of Swift. They are no different than the guy that comes out here on behalf of the electric company and cuts a tree down in my backyard. I can hold the electric company responsible for that because they hired that person to come do that work. Zwift has hired them for them to put on a race lead. To have Quit. an experience on Zwift. Right. That, that doesn't give us a right to be jerks to WTRL oh, no, 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 or CRL, no, no, no. but that does put them in a different category than somebody that's out here just trying to produce a fun experience for people at their Correct. own nice guy volition. And we need to get that out of our community's head. Like I, I'm not giving WTRL feedback to be a jerk. This is ZRL. This is Zwift's racing league. If this is going to be the best community league racing on Zwift, they need constructive criticism and feedback of how we feel about it 
I don't disagree that my team should be in division one. I disagree with how they're moving them and the time that they're moving it. And then that wasn't clear at the beginning, set the rules, live with the rules, shuffle them between rounds. And then my other part about this is this is all they're going back to power and time and all these things that people are going to manipulate. And I'm like, wait, Zwift is going this way. They're going results based. They're going points based. They're going this way. And ZRL is going this way because they're going power curves and times and all that. And I'm like, wait a minute, Zwift, where are you in this picture? Why are you not coming into the ZRL and saying, we need to start shifting? They've taken this entire year and said, we're not touching points on ZRL. And like Zwift, Zwift should be getting involved there. Zwift, it's creating confusion it's, they it, yeah they it, could in, use in zrl as a perfect test bed for zwift racing points right zwift we're going to reseed all the teams in okay if you're rolling out in october get us through september get us through october right get us through those first two rounds round three we're going to take the cumulative of your team's race score and that's your team score, right? If I'm a 700, Brian White's a 700, we're the only two people on the team, our team score is 1,400, right? Add them up. Rank them based have. on that. They right? should have been a Zwift Labs. Yes, Lee is absolutely right. There is no way they're going to do that. <laughs> I bet you it's, I bet whoever runs WTRL is, I don't want anything to do with that Zwift Labs thing right now because it's so but broken. Think, <laughs> but think about that, guys. We I are don't want 2,000 people messed, pissed at me. <laughs> Zwift is rolling out the race score in two weeks, and we will not Wait, see it in Zwift's racing league. Everything for a is year. getting this. Everything is getting this. In October, all Zwift sanctioned racing is going to be race points in October, but ZRL is not going to be this year, this season. So it's going to be next September before they'll even talk about points in ZRL. I'm like, yeah, that, that's too long. That, you got to go with the same. So, so that, that's kind of my rant. And it, the, the people in the community, number one, they, they got it. Look, I love Z, I love WTRL. They do wonderful things. They've been great for racing. Guys, don't get me wrong with that. But they are a subcontractor of Zwift. Sounds like they're grapes to me. Buddy. They're great people, but <laughs> Zwift needs... No. Casey's got some sour grapes up in there. There, guys, they're at a terrible spot. How would you like to manage a league? Oh, that's Zwift, why they where Swift can that's call you up and say, "Hey, knock it off." That they're they're in a that's, terrible position. They're like, "We'll just go. We'll just stick with what we have because it's it. We at least know well, that it's going to frustrate." Well, why isn't Swift getting involved with that though? Why isn't it, Swift saying, "Guys, we got to do something uh, different here. This isn't good." Because you know, because this is this is Swift, and for the audio only audience, it's the I'm throwing my hands up like ah, yeah. I don't want to touch that, even though it's our thing, like. I get Zwift's perspective on, hey, we don't want to, I don't want to get in there. I don't want to get involved. Yeah. They wanted to get involved. That's why you had the, whatever the, the uh, CVR, what, what's the thing you used mm -hmm. for racing? CV arcade, yeah. CV arcade thing where it was like, we're in. Then all of a sudden they're not in and there's not enough tools to do the things. And it's like, we're kind of in and not in. They're like, they're, halfway in and halfway out and like maybe this is just my speculation is uh zwift is like we don't want to we don't want to mess we don't want to stir the pot for wtrl because they got a good system going they kind of know what they're doing and wtrl is probably don't come in here and mess things up because wait till you guys get a lockdown then maybe we'll try to integrate it in because we kind of have their tools and i remember hearing like a zwift cast with with uh, the guy from who did the the sort of monitoring of that's why i asked you about mm -hmm. is it not upgrading people's anomalies it's more of like they have a bunch of tools on the back end well maybe the new tools don't exist yet and maybe zwift isn't ready to yeah. hand off the new tools for the new ranking system and that's where it's like we're at the stalemate and it's sort of like they're both just biding time and they're doing what they need to do and i'm with you on the it should be now and it's not going to be and probably like you said it's got to be next september it's it's there's a saying that i use a lot and it's what was the purpose? What was your goal? And I'd, I'd like to ask WTRL, what was the reason to reseed after a week? Because it's creating a lot of doubt into the, the purposes behind it. What, what it appears like they did and what they said they did don't seem to be lining up. And it's causing a lot of kickback, right? 
and what did they actually accomplish? We're, we weren't we weren't seated in a way that we weren't going to be competitive in the way we were seated. And in six weeks, they could have reseated us. So I don't think that the the pain that they're causing themselves and the confusion that they threw into the community over this was worth the squeeze that they're getting out of it to be a more competitive environment. Right. So how about this from a positive positive Zwift time, right? Yeah. It's it's not being perceived the way you're not the way you're perceiving it, but it could be perceived by somebody else or some some other team is like, hey, we did really well. We're being promoted. And maybe that's W I know, I know you're shaking your head. <laughs> For the audio only audience, you're shaking your head left to right instead of up and down. Uh so I get that, but that's just a that's the devil as an advocate, sort of like yeah. WTRL is going, hey, we're gonna reseed early to upgrade somebody to be more competitive. It's just hitting you and your team and you know a lot and you're going, this is not, I think, a benefit for us moving forward. Yep. Yeah, I mean, moving? I wish one of my guys would have blown out a category limit last week because we would have got DQ'd and we'd be in the second division. Yeah, see, moving up a division <laughs> was fantastic. You celebrated that after mm -hmm. the season was over. Because you won, and, you earned you the won. upgrade. You were like, you got oh, on the podium. Yeah, we're yeah. At, we went to B1 or C1, awesome. We kicked ass, guys, good job. To go from like winning your first TTT, well, no, you're fourth. Like, yeah. no, you've made the decision. You're C2. That's where you are. You don't move. Like, it's just, I, I feel like most decisions. Yeah, it seems it's w, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ZRL, yeah, WTRL, Zwift, they never think about after the decision. We're going to make this decision. Hey, what would that happen? Maybe this is going to happen. Maybe this isn't yeah. a good idea. They just re react and make a decision. And then like, this is bad. Now people it was just, oh, I, actually, I do it, like it was that unnecessary. When they, when they, yeah. I like when they do do that. Cause they didn't do that with the XP. They, they flip flopped on the XP. And well, I wish they, they, they had to flip flop because they didn't sit right, in the yeah. boardroom and said, Hey, we need to weigh all options. What happens if we make XP easy? Oh, I think they oh, a bajillion people are going to get super leveled. And then that's good. Like they just go, yeah, let's do it. Not to do all this anymore, easy. but how many people do you know have, how many teams get Casey? Do you know that have been upgraded after the reshuffling? I, I didn't look super close. I looked just in kind of the division areas that we were in, but four, of the teams in my division two moved up to division one. Um, and then basically the four teams that were in division one that didn't finish moved down to division two. And yeah. there was, there was one team that actually completed in division one that moved down to division two based on time, but everybody else who we replaced in division one essentially just were do not starts. There were starting parks. So they Nathan and Chad, their team finished second in C2 and now they're eighth in C1. Yeah. Like, like that. last place. <laughs> it, yeah. it, okay. Let's I say it was just unnecessary, right? Like ZRL actually was coming into, I think, a good season. We had all accepted that the rules were going to stay similar to last year. They had changed the point structure enough to award the winning a little bit more. They took some of the time points. They backed those down a little bit so people couldn't people getting dropped out of the front pack couldn't accumulate a bunch of points by pooling up and getting fast times way back, right? You have to stay in the front that's group what, now to accumulate points, to right? Mm. Like they, they, I think they fixed a lot of the flaws. And then like after week one, they did this and I'm like, hey, boneheads, everybody was pretty content with where we were at. You could have just left it alone, did your reshuffling in five weeks yeah. and you could have celebrated the upgrades and moved on. Instead, you made... You made 30% of your people unhappy and you only have 5% of them happy about what happened here, right? Like it, it, it wasn't worth it. That, 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 that's what it comes down to. And then there's the whole community side of it where guys, you know, like we love WTRL, but we have to give them feedback if we want it to be better. Did you preface uh, it by saying this is feedback, not sour yeah. grapes? Um, I just called them out on what I said, what you say doesn't equal what I see. Okay. You said you did this. I see this. And as long as you're going to be cryptic about how you're seeding the teams, I'm going to base my opinion on what I observe, not on what you tell me you did. So, what I observe is you seeded us based on time trial times, period. Because okay. that's exactly how we're seated. And I, my team in 
Well, I don't know. It must not. I don't know if we, I couldn't find quickly if it's in, we are now in the same division, Casey, but we are division B1. We yep. finished 11th out of 12 and we stayed there. So, like, that doesn't make sense. Like, if my team finished yeah. 11th How out of 12. How did no other team in B2? You're the last up? team that made the cut to stay in division one because there was yeah. 13 or 14 in division one and all of us, the podium from division two, bumped up. Uh, so we, we I got to get a hoodie. Keep, let, let's get ready to the next. Unless we want to yeah. keep cold in cool. New York, Brian. No, this a th there's an AC right here in my back. I need to get a hood. I need to get a hoodie. But uh, we're gonna go. Uh, just give me a moment, and then we'll. Uh, Lee, hit it off with. No, we're hoodie. gonna have silence. Everyone, don't silence. Talk. Just <laughs> silence. But we'll play some intermission music. Play intermission or do an update. Start the Ruby thing, and I'll catch back up. So, so yeah. So I guess to sum up the ZRL in the end. Uh, don't take it as I think ZRL's doing a terrible thing. I, I'm a little bummed because I think I think they ruined the kickoff to what was probably going to be a decent season. They didn't change a lot. What they changed was good. We were going in nice and smooth. I didn't hear any real. I was pretty happy with the way the divisions looked like they were settling out. Like things seemed good, and then all of a sudden, like after week one, out of the blue, they like completely shuffled the deck, and I was just like, yeah, it just. I, I think they. They need to get out of their own way. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, get out of your own and, way. I heard that. Yeah. I would like to know. I really, the biggest thing, you may have covered it, a, a touched on it a little bit within this. The categories system within Zwift is such a nightmare. People can't oh, get yeah. out of the, 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 the B mindset because you got race score. I'm in the B group. Well, you may not be B. Like it's such a disaster right now. People have the old mindset and then even like the ingrained hard, you know, you do four years. That's going to take years. That's going to be generational. People are going to be talking about, oh, I was so in a zero to 300 race and the guy was doing three seven. He should have been in the yeah. Bs. And this is a zero to 300. No, zero to 300 has nothing to do with A, B, C, or D. Right. And it's going to take, yeah, it's generational. It's going to be like people need Zwift to like 10 years, Zwift. Zwift 10 years and we have it. So now another 10 years, isn't, isn't it like 25 years for generations? Yeah. So like, let's say yeah. Zwift generations are 10 years. Zwift, Zwift 20, we will have the ranking system and no more. Oh, that's the goal. <laughs> Zwift 20. <laughs> yeah. Zwift, this I go, is part of my later rant. Like guys, yeah, yeah. you gotta, you gotta start changing you got to start changing the filter of your mindset based on the circumstances yeah. you're in. We are no longer in an ABCD circumstance with categories. Well, they got to get rid of going away. Next to your name. Yeah. They, but, have to, they, yeah. they have to get out of the right list. And you then the dialogue yeah. from the community has to change based on that. Yeah. If you, you get rid of the with visual. Power. Yeah. If you get, well, not even with yeah. power, it's got to be off. It's got to be out of the game. And well, Zwift Power still shows A, B, C, D. Yeah. And but not like, everyone yeah. goes to Zwift Power. You have to opt oh, in on that. Everyone goes yeah. to Zwift Power. <laughs> Everybody. And the other thing is, <laughs> I've been in a race with BK and Casey, or each of you guys separate races to where BK be out the front, I'd be out the front, Casey be out the front, and the in-game chat is just so toxic. Turn it off, man. Turn off the chat. That's, yeah, turn it off. I actually yeah. just said that in chat. I would pay drops to turn in-game chat off. You can yeah. do that for free. It's in the system settings. Can you? Yeah, I guess I'll yes. pay attention. Yes. Is it? Ah, you don't yeah. use Zwift, man. I don't use Zwift enough. I guess. <laughs> Actually, I would yeah, like I to would hear Brian drops. White how his week after his annulment has gone in my whoosh. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Moving on. All no right. more Zwift. So. We, 40, 50 so minutes behind me is my Oof, Belgium breakaway now. win. So if you haven't seen or whatever or heard, so this what we're watching behind me is my. I took five weeks off, did some pretty serious training because I was getting destroyed in Sunday race club. So this race, it's a flat ish course for a my Woosh Sunday, my Woosh Sunday race club. And I'm like, I have a shot and knowing my strength and I read the race, the second climb, no one, no one really pushed over the first climb. I'm like, I've got six kilometers of flat. I want to push the pace. If you know, chases, no one chased me. I made it clear to the finish, finish seven seconds in front. And then, you know, I think it was 40 seconds behind the next guy. So I ended up winning the Wait, race. Did you do this again? No, no, no. I'm giving this the story. A, I, oh, I'm, this is the recap from the week. Story time. Oh, this is There's a reason I'm recapping it. <laughs> I forgot to pair my parameter. 
It's a mistake. Done it ten, ten times before power that. Secondary meter, not your main. Yeah, one. the secondary power. The trainer was all connected, controllable, whole nine yards. And then I forgot to pair the power meter. My fault. Whatever. Got it gnawed. So we come to this week, and I noticed on Tuesday when I'm riding my whoosh, I'm like, man, my heart rate's kind of weird. So I get my other Wahoo ticker, and we can't use optical from our watches. We can't use optical sensors on my whoosh. Not my rules, just playing by it. So on Friday's ride, I changed my heart rate monitor to my other ticker. Um, it read, once I switched it, read perfect in line with my uh, watch. What was your connection? And then Saturday, Saturday, I did the same thing. I rode with the other ticker I had. Perfect. During Sunday Race Club, my heart rate's chilling at 120 the entire race. I put a new one on in the race, and then the enti entire race, the in-game chat's like, oh, no way, you're right, blah, blah, talking me up. Wait, 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 hold on a second. I'm... Yeah, so you're, what I'm on, saying is two you, weeks you in a row. You changed heart rate monitor. No, I did not change it. I kept it on. I added a second one. No, no, no not changing the, the game. You changed it midweek to go. You were having an, you were having an all, uh, uh, anomalies. Yes. And you're like, I'm going to go to I the other I changed the battery and everything. I sent, I sent dual recordings from the Fenix and the Garmin Amp Plus, which they won't take Amp Plus, and the other one. So I already sent out the race control saying, hey, I'm, I'm having this, this is issue. Amp Plus or Bluetooth? This is the Bluetooth. This is the ticker that the I've ticker always wanted. The Bluetooth was weird. So you go to the second Bluetooth ticker or the yeah, Sunday Race Club. And it Club. read fine. It was fine for two rides and Sunday Race Club. Totally irrelevant. Now, I double dipped. I had a recording of my. Very relevant because it didn't move. What do you mean but it was that's irrelevant? What I mean. Like, it's I'm very saying relevant. it was irrelevant at reading my heart rate. It was, yeah. So I had two weeks, <laughs> two issues, but this week I have a dual, actually three recordings of my heart rate, two good ones and one bad, because well, I don't know, nine How minutes did you in the race. Uh, well, my watch, the optical heart rate from the Fenix 6 was on Zwift, and then it, at nine minutes into the race, I'm like, yeah, I'm putting the other one on. I know I did not change it in a game because I didn't want to have a, a normal never changing a sensor. So I started my Karoo 2 recording that uh, other ticker. So, so I had two tickers you, on. You recorded it in the Karoo. Mm -hmm. So Welcome you recognize the, the problem. You Welcome recognize the problem it. during the race. Yeah. You put yeah. on another heart rate strap and started up a second recording. So you had, you had something yeah. to provide your race control to say like, okay, I recognize this issue. I'm going to try to do something, but I know it's against the rules to repair. You can't open the pairing right. screen and change it in the game. So you... You had one secondary source going with Swift, but you you recorded a, a third source. Yeah, I had three heart rate recordings, and then and the, the tough two, thing two is two heart rate monitor two heart rate monitors going at the same time, but three, three. recordings. Three I had, heart rate monitors, I had, right? Uh, three heart rate monitors: my watch, and then two heart rate monitors. You wore two straps. Mm -hmm. I have a like You're I, my hero. I You're my hero. I in the game. I love you, Brian. I, Unzipped I thought, it. I didn't know you were wearing two heart rate straps. Oh my so god! So you could even you. you could even provide your stream as like <laughs> I did. visual I evidence did that. of putting I did that it on. in Zwift games. I did that in Zwift games. Okay. I said yeah. it to Bjorn because I said I was like, I'm at, last, but here's the at thing. Nine minutes. Yeah. I, I was like, I got to do something different. I put it on. I time stamped it and sent it to him. I said, Listen, here's the Zwift with the Fenix Six optical heart rate, and then the Fenix? Fenix? one I put. I call, I call it Phoenix. Phoenix. We know whatever. you call it Phoenix. You've been saying Phoenix the last four times. <laughs> hey, what is it? So is this... it Phoenix or Phoenix? But regardless, I, so I yeah. want it. To, I want it to be what you want it to be, Brian. I like Phoenix. <laughs> so I the like decision Fenix. comes down to I'm race control. Of uh, do they have? Does race control have any subjectiveness to allow something like this, or do they just do they yeah. just say? Hard no, it's a device problem, and we only take it. You know, like, I, and, and well, I think they could go. This one, I think they could go either way. I think last week was pretty clear, right? This needs to be annulled. I, yes, a hundred percent. I think it should have been annulled. But they, he would. Hold on, Casey. I think he did have some some uh, whatever buffer area, like you're saying, some leeway. 
because the way he emailed Brian back, like, hey, I'm going to bring it up in the meeting, but I don't think it's going to happen. And we both, yeah. Casey and I both were like, they you still should discuss be it. They yeah. still at least discussed it. And yeah. I think that's what Casey's leaning okay. on. So, yeah. so what, what's the opinion this week? What do you, before they make a judgment call, BK, what do you think? What, what, what I think do they're going to have some leniency. I think they're going to have some leniency. Okay. What do you, okay. I'm not hard no like I was last week. Last week, I'm like, I'm calling them out if they let no, no, I think they should have hard yeah. annulled, agreed, yeah. because he didn't have agree it with that. Up, where this is I'm like, softer I think, on this one. I think there's, three, on I think there's, there's three variables. One, he identified it in the race, uh, did it during the race, and had a live recording of it. Uh, he, he announced it, but he also, he was streaming it, and so he has visual documentation of it. And those three things, those uh, three variables, I think are my, where they're here, gonna give some leniency. Here's a variable, and because Holly Holly just queued this in, on, and this is a good point too. Should it matter where he finished? You're not yeah. in the money. Yeah, if no, you, it shouldn't matter. So should, should the decision change if you're seventh versus no. first? No, I, I Hart, agree. Because you're Hart either an older important as as power meter. Uh, it, right. It, they may let it stand because it's seventh and it doesn't change the prize pool, but then then next week when the winner has the same issue, you can't annul him. If he has the same backup, evidence. correct. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So in my midweek, I, I had a whole entire like you know email I sent to race control, and this is my this was the response I got. Like, <laughs> I gave him all this information. Look, like I'm telling you, I have this problem. You know, whatever he says, I'd like to be impartial, but I've had two tickers and had no end of issues. I bought a Garmin. <laughs> it's been great. That was my response. Yeah. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? So, so it is. Yeah, the tickers are tough right now. The tickers are tough. Yeah. So here's the thing: How often do you speak to your therapist from this second bout of depression you're going to have <laughs> in the second week? Because I know it's crushing you to go. I'm yeah. doing all this stuff. I'm waking up at four o'clock in the morning, and yeah, now and, you're having these and, sort of like think, mental lapses, but also technical lapses. I, I sent lapses. Casey a little message about this. If I didn't have a single issue today, it would have been no big deal. But this is two weeks in a row now. My dumbass has been off the front, and, and I will say this: this this destroyed me because uh, we had a 15 kilometer flat in the middle of this, and I'm like, if they let me off the front, if there's anyone that goes with me, I think I can make it. So there's a guy, he's leaving me, and I'm like, all right, freight train's on. I'm rolling cold to this guy. Catch up to him, give him the little rotate. Yeah, and I saw that the little. Of, yeah. Yeah, he like, starts pulling let's... at five five, and I'm at my FTP on his wheel, and I'm like, dude, I can't do this. Like, like, and he eventually dropped me, and then quit. I destroyed myself. Did you tell him, him in chat? I'm going to. Or in, or oh, no, in there's audio a little chat. Emote. There's an emote, you know, well, like there's you an can emote. Do... Yes, but you can tell him in chat and say, man, I I can only I can't do this. If you want me to stick around. Yeah, to stick yeah. around. Maybe he was like, well, well, the guy's not going to work with me. I'm poof. I'm out. I went back and watched that. Like, he got a little gap on you. And then, like, it was like five or six seconds. And I thought, it like, just then, he let, then he let up. So I thought, oh, he's letting Brian back on. But when Brian caught yeah. him, Brian just held, like, four. Went right past him. The guy never picked up and got back on Brian's wheel. So it's like, and then he, he dropped yeah. Brian and then quit. I'm like, uh, th it made no sense. Like, yeah, what are you doing? And that destroyed me because those last three climbs, whoa, I am not in the shape to hold five plus, you know, for three minutes, like back to back to back at the end of the race. So I made a tactical error because I'm like, oh, I got a guy I got to got to rotate with. We are gone. That was my intent. I said, we got this. I'm, I'm first or second. So as soon as as soon as he went over and pushed, like, I think it was six. And yeah. then we he got like two seconds and I caught him. I'm like, we're gone. We're done because. But it didn't happen. It was a great and, race because because they caught yeah. you what with a few miles to go over some rollers. Yeah. They reeled you back in. Like it was a good race, tactical race. Um, yeah. You know, I'm surprised they let you go after last week. I, I'm shocked they let you go. Yeah, uh, it's and, great. And I, you, it's great hearing you have good results. I mean, it's, well, it's that's cool the thing. To, it's cool to have you. You were competitive. competitive. Yeah, competitive. Yeah. You're 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 tactically in the race, going maybe I go on this or maybe I go here mm -hmm. instead of just like. Yeah. I'm trying to hang on. I'm trying to hang on or whatever. And you were hanging on the guy's wheel or whatever. But And I think some of the scrutiny from today was I got an old last week. Totally my fault. All right. So 
these guys click on my name, what's he doing? And my heart rate's sitting at 120 and my watts are like 350. Yeah, so this is where I'm going to get on my soapbox. Yeah, so this, this, I this, set this myself up. I'm to get on the soapbox too for you. But this, this, is the, this is the huddle up moment for me. Um, now huddle up, this, everybody. Huddle up. This, is, this has struck me and it's a nerve for quite a while now. Some of you guys have heard this on my stream. So um, I have a long history of elite racing from way back in the day. And I'm, I'm very disappointed that this is still a struggle when you're behind a approved rider kind of wall. You're, you're in Sunday Race Club. You got there by earning a right to race that, by doing all this work, submitting all these things to prove you're legit. And you know that every single person that lined up on that line with you went through that same scrutiny. You need Sunday Race Club riders. This is this is you. This is you elite riders out there. You all went Potent, through this. You knew what it took to get there. Potential competitive like, riders. You need you, yeah. this is part of the the, the Treat, culture of the riders. Give them some respect. Yeah. He's there because he earned it. If you don't think he belongs in your category, that's not his fault. That's yeah. the rules fault that they all proved that they belong there. And if you have an issue with it, you need to take it up with the race directors. Quit being toxic to one another in chat. This isn't the Zwift racing free for all with the 65 year old guy doing six, six off the front. <laughs> Everybody here is approved They've, they've done all this work to be there. In the second you're getting beat, it's toxic comments in chat. And yeah. shame on organizers for not doing something about it yet. Yeah. They need to. My whoosh, whoever is, it, it, the Zwift elites the same way. If there is, if there is proof of questioning the legitimacy of another rider in a negative way and being disrespectful to them within the boundaries of that league, there should be protocol in place for, for making that stop, controlling that, or a way to submit legitimate arguments because the scene is toxic with a lot of those riders and yeah. they need to stop. You're behind that wall. You need to understand where you're at, and it's different. And and I, I put up with it for a long time when I was elite racing because all of that stuff was being done by public people as volunteers. This is all now legitimate stuff. They're trying to make legitimate. People need to – they, they got to stop doing that, and the leagues need to hold the them accountable sport, for it. The sport will not survive if the riders don't get aligned to understand yeah. that – Hey, yes, we do have a caveat when there are anomalies, and we need to be scrutin We need to scrutinize ourselves, but we also need to not tear down ourselves. Yeah, and that I goes say... across the board. Like, there's people that like who don't ride outside, and yeah. they have stuff, and you're just like, oh, you're not real. You don't. You can't do it outside. It's like there's people who don't even own bikes, but they're inside and they're doing their thing, and it's this tearing down each other, and we can't have that. And and I know two people that. They have their max heart rates like 130 and their FTP is like 380. You know what I mean? These are like legit A riders and they've done verified events and their max heart rate's 130. That's just how they're built. So let's just say I'm that guy and this guy, and, and I have to, with within the Zoom call that I do, the audio was in my ears and in my chat from their YouTube stream. And I got to go back and look at the, that section but i think the commentators picked up on the in-game chat it, wh Maybe. whenever they were saying i think because i remember hearing something about oh the something about the chat and i don't remember exactly what it was. i'll have to go look at that but I, so here's the here's the thing it's i'm gonna go back to zwift really quick quickly because of the new hud i was in a race i did my i did zwift race last week and i turned everything off Visually. Now, I don't know if other people, when they click on me in the writer list, if Zwift actually does follow that, what I choose to show and not show. But the other writer should not be looking at your your power and your heart rate. They should be just racing, right? Yeah. And that's another flaw of people are scrutinizing people in the race and then commenting on it. It's affecting the racing. You can, you can have, I've been in races, real, real races, where I'm not, I don't know what people's heart rate are and I don't know what their power is but they're either hanging with me or they're not working or whatever. And then you can complain or give them a hard time, but you're dealing with a technical issue 
because if you were in a if you were in a real race outside and your power meter went away and your heart rate went away, nobody cares. It's whether you can push the pedals and stay with the group or attack and go off the group. It's about rolling. Yeah. Right. And that's the one limitation we have is we need to go. There is rampant cheating and there's rampant uh, issues with the, the technology and the technology needs to get better. But we need to to lift up the technology along with lifting up the riders outside of the, the platform and all the other stuff. They all have their limitations, but we need to lift up ourselves as riders even potential competitive riders and casual riders when they do a casual race they just give up and throw up their hands and go oh he's cheating he's cheating it's like that's the mentality we always have and that's it's got to break it's it's going to be generational but we need to maybe maybe we can cut some years off of that by being the voice of the community to say hey i i, I don't i don't agree with it and that's my soapbox as i st- as i push casey off of it yeah. stand on it yeah, and that's the thing. Like, if if you're doing any verified event, things happen, whatever. But and even even in all the randomness within Zwift, like the past two Zwift Penarello series races I've done, they could be like just demons. Yeah, I lost resistance. But did I, I don't get, know. Did I complain about everybody else? No, I I tried to fell off. Yeah. Like my my resistance from Direct Connect for some weird thing. Because I had a guy but, pull me to the finish, then quit. A K before the finish. Well, that's and we that's were a minute the ahead. Scoring system. I, you know what that's, I mean. What are you going to do? Like score. that's that's another thing. Okay, what, let's yeah. not go back so, to Zwift. Let's just stay with. My, okay. So let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Yeah. You. You have jumped through all the hoops. Are you going to be a proponent for optical heart rates now in the future with my whoosh? Like you say, hey, I'm in gold, blah, blah, blah. Be like, hey, I want to run two heart rate monitors, but you got to accept the the optical one. Well, that's the thing. Like, my, I have several dual recordings just was from June that show my Fenix being ac- very accurate. So I don't understand why my wish won't let it. Well, that, that's the thing is you have to be, as the writer in question, you need to yeah. go, okay, if you know me finally, I'm an old. But I would I like to in the future. Me, I, I, me, I want I to officially petition yeah. for optical readers for all the people that don't have uh, whatever chest straps to have optical readers be a verified uh, yeah. heart rate monitor for my Woosh Sunday race clubs in the future. And I don't, maybe the original technology was real rough, but this this has been spot on for me. I've never noticed any Anything like the tickers have been so bad, but uh, but wouldn't that I, I be know. wouldn't that include more people that have optical heart rate monitors instead of chest straps to be yeah like I was to looking compete in in uh, Sunday Race Club yeah so just 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 to compete in this like I've yet to officially win any money I've spent you know the minimum requirement I already had it but still it's four hundred bucks for the Power Two Max. Or eight hundred dollars I got on sale for my V six, and now I got to go spend another hundred dollars on a heart rate monitor. So it's just a kind of annoying too. It's like I have a perfectly good amp plus and optical heart rate that they don't allow, but the ticker they don't allow Bluetooth. The ticker? No, no, I have a Garmin amp plus only. Wait, I actually on. have I'm three chest now. straps. You're now you're really my hero. But what I'm I'm saying, you have three different you have four heart rate monitors yeah you have three right. tra- you have three chest straps and the fenix so here's my two wahoo <laughs> it's like zrl in my head and here and is then. my garment amp plus only yeah all right and these two are pain in the asses and have been giving me shit fits all week okay so these two that are perfect accurate my watch and this garmin amp plus only my whoosh won't accept but the shitbag Wahoo tickers that I have are the you only ones Bluetooth, that I you have. need a Bluetooth heart rate monitor. Right. So I have to basically get a Polar. I'm not going on a Wahoo. They can kiss my ass unless they send me one. You know, hey, I'll, I'll wear the Wahoo. Yeah. Well, the heart rate monitors. Not friend I'm of not... the show, Brian, Brian White. Calling yeah. out a friend of the show, Wahoo. I love my V6. Hate the tickers. So if you can send me a Wahoo tracker, I might change my tune. 
But anyway, regardless, I'm gonna buy a that's water tracker. Like, I'll, buy, I'll buy you a heart rate monitor. How about that? <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. It just sucks because now I have basically four heart rate monitors, no, two that have... I know work. Perfect. Hold on a second. The tickers work, but they're inconsistent, and they were just inconsistent with this race because you said they worked well, in the two rides, and then they didn't work. Yes. They have the this main ticker. I have this one. This is the one I normally use. It's yeah. been fine. It's been fine for months. And it was months. fine for the week week ago. So, so it's under race club. So we've got device one that you raced on last week. Well, and device it's... one, it even was funky last week, but wasn't nearly as bad because I noticed right, like so, it was one point. So you had device and that's what one. started it. And you sw yeah. swapped midweek to make your primary device two. And device yeah. two is what you used all week. And in the and race, you were using device two and it Correct. acted up. When you started the dual recording, was it on device one or was it on device three? Like, I know you're, you're watching, not talking about your watch. I'm talking about chest straps. Yeah. The chest strap dual recording, once I started it with the Karoo, was the first uh, It was the ticker. device one. Okay. It was the one that had been fine forever and then took a shit for about out. three, four days. I think I've got six of the heart rate straps, like the old yeah. school heart rate straps. And I've only got one that I trust. Um, yeah. and, and I've got Garmin's, I've got tickers, all that. And the one that I trust is the one that I got 12 years ago with a forerunner watch. That's the hard plastic Garmin one, that's <laughs> like the hard plastic. Yeah. Like that's yeah. the only one that works any good. I, I always use the optical now and I don't understand the reason why they don't let the optical go, but that's just bad timing for you. That's at least you're terrible. not out money. It's at least you're not out money. If, yeah, if they just, know it. it, and if they know it, whatever. But like, I gave them enough information. Like the duels, I, the duels were like 0.8 so percent. So if you bridge, fine. if you bridge the ant plus only one to Bluetooth, it'll work, right? Uh, I I don't know if that's allowed. I I don't know. I I, I think if it's any ant plus signal, it's not allowed. They have a hard ban on ant plus. Do you know, is it even allowed to switch to a different heart rate strap from what you provided the testing on? You know, like power meter and trainer, you can't. Well, uh, I thought about that and I'm, I should have asked race control today because there is no serial number like you're such to say, but I'm sure when it connects, it shows ticker 2980. Yeah, and today, it, I, don't, I don't know if it has like a... Yeah, does it have like yeah. a Mac ID or something that's unique that it oh, can yeah. it can capture or something? I was just just curious. So, I guess we'll just time will tell. What I what I do like yeah. about all this is not not I shouldn't say like about it. The the the, the positive, right? Trying to see a positive in everything. My Wush's rules are getting picky enough that an annulment doesn't equal a cheater. Annulment yeah. equaled cheat a year ago and everywhere that we were dealing with Zwift, annulment uh, yeah, equaled good. cheat. That's a good point. And at, I, I've seen, there's guys, I think the guy who might have won Division 4 for you yesterday, he's gotten an old in the past, right? West has been an old in the past, right? Yeah. If, if you don't check one of the boxes right, you're going to get an old. And that's okay. And annulment doesn't equal cheat. And I like that my whoosh is doing that, right? Like, yeah, hey, it, I'm sorry. This isn't a ban. This isn't throwing you out of the league. This is just come back again right. next week and do it right. Yeah, so, and if I get a note over the heart rate, all right, no big deal, whatever. Especially, like, because I'm streaming it, people, it is available to see. I put another one on. I didn't change it in race, like, the pairing. I just went with, you know, knew something was wrong and provided two other sources that so hey my heart rate was 165 for this race not 120 or whatever it was do you have and, them plugged into the straps or do you take them out of the straps laying around right now well i have them take right the now battery out the of all of them and use one and connect it ant plus to the karoo and bluetooth to your computer well uh, up until uh I, well, why don't you not, just say yes? No, no, I'm just saying they were. They were. <laughs> I only put the batteries does in sound, because... Does that uh, sound reasonable or no? Is that not reasonable? I, that's what I had up until uh, midweek when I started messing around trying to figure this out. 
So they were sitting there without the batteries because I didn't want the batteries corroding and destroying them in case I did need them. So they were up until today or well, whatever. I think Wednesday is when I started this. You so they were me. completely no All batteries, right. no nothing. Yeah, yeah. We're, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, so hot, hot off the presses if we're done with this topic. We're this done. is hot off the I'm presses. This, this one. Yeah, the let's three move of you on. don't even know this. This is this is hot off the presses. Ba is it by Terra? Because that's what I know. No, this you is actually got to Ruby. This, this is more Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Everyone doesn't know what's been going on in the background. We have like Dostoevsky writing about Ruby the last yes. like day or so. Like it is like he's getting paid by the word. It's been going off about Ruby. <laughs> so we got to get to Ruby tonight. We'll get to Ruby. But, we'll get this to is... Ruby. But Casey, you got to get in it. Go. I, Let's go. I don't have much detail on this. So I'm just going to share. And we can, we can, is this we reckless, can reckless, is this speculation. reckless speculation. This is, play the music. Play, this the, is play fact, the sound bite. We need a sound bite. What I'm providing is, is facts, but we can reckless speculate why. But yeah. there are published World Series results for the men, and the winner of the race is not the guy who crossed the line first. Oh, God. The guy who crossed the line first is at the bottom of the results with an asterisk next to his name in the final results. Swift that's World it. Series, which no one watched yeah. because it was a day before the uh, right. World so Championships. Adrian so Adrian LeGriffin won in the official results. He did not cross the line first in the race. And... I don't know much more Visually? than that other than he Visually was Visually or results? No, this is not a timing bug. This was a post-race okay. annulment moved to the bottom of the list. Okay. Uh, Joseph Tudyk actually won on the day, but he is no longer in the results. And I Joe, Joe don't... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here at the bottom, asterisk. Joseph Tudyk, first place men's race, results annulled. The performance you... in the open qualifier race is not consistent with the pre-race performance verification submitted by the athletes. Okay, let me, I can send this to Lee quick, I think. Yeah, get it up on the screen for the, the audio only audience so they can hear us talk about something that they can't see. So interesting. This, this is hot off the presses. Let me see if I can get this to you quick. So is I it wonder if, say when did they have to do this verification because it could be my case is like where no, they I gained... had to do it before the in august they had to do it in august yeah so he could have had a couple of good weeks of training increase his ftp a little bit or vo2 or whatever or just didn't test well, well that day this was the this was the pre-verification that i was arguing a little bit with um bjorn about because i thought it was i didn't like the fact that they weren't allowing people to kind of double dip on the verification. They wouldn't allow them to submit their MyWoosh verification as even if they had the proper dual recordings as a as a Zwift pre-verification for this race. They had to do something separate. No, I think they were, didn't they? No. Nope. No, Bjorn said nope. no. Nope. They said no. And that, that's a whole nother topic we don't want to get into. But All anyway, right. you couldn't use your MyWoosh verif power passport verification even if you dual recorded it off to the side. So uh, that is a side discussion. All right, let's stay. We'll, we'll stay on topic. <laughs> stay on target. So sorry, I didn't uh, mean to derail this, but I like I was like, we, we got to talk about so this. this. Where I think this, this is fresh. Where, where does this come off the hot off the presses from Zwift.com? Um, it, Zwift it is published. Email? It is their published results by Zwift, but but one of the racers or, or someone who's in the know with the racing kind of kind of clued clued me into it and we're able to provide the actual pdf of the results we need the breaking uh, but news they're, but they're public results so Lee, I, I was verifying that down. Get some before i said anything down. i'm like this is public right this isn't like only provided to the teams but no this is official results nda nda yeah this is published this oh, was God, published this was sent out to the teams and this has been published and been spoken about apparently in a lot of the elite racing uh, you know, sub channels, you know, those places that I don't like to go anymore. So this is an open qualifier. Wait, hold on a second. Go back up, please. Go back up. This is the uh, Zwift World Series men's open qualifier race one. Qualifying for what? Top 26 get to go on to the finals, right? Is that how it is? Or top 26 move on? I don't know if it's finals or not. Top 26 move on. So this is like a bracket system? I don't remember Zwift. Did we ever touch on the format of the Zwift World yeah. Series? 
other than their terrible <laughs> timing, <laughs> the schedule. They scheduled it the day before the, the so the people in gray. The UCI thing. Joseph Chudik, first place in all result in all the performances in open qualifier not consistent with the pre-race performance verification test submitted by the athlete. Okay, well. Uh, he'll have and some. Barney is saying he, you can, you do have the opportunity to, uh, I guess, redo appeal? the test and prove appeal. It. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Barney is saying that he, he had to do it once, so he knows it's, it's an option. James Barnes, where is he? Did he okay, qualify? Barney. I was. Yeah, Bar Barney didn't race this. Uh, Barney was oh, no, saying yeah. in chat too. I wanted because uh, I was actually going to ask this because I know on my whoosh they kind of give you that opportunity. Barney is confirming. That if you get flagged at something like this, and I'm assuming you're talking about Zwift, I know my whoosh does this, they'll allow you to re-verify after if like if you if you and I think Brian White, you, you went requested. through this, right? You, you were requested. you were slightly over a threshold and they're like, Hey, you kind of yeah. crossed the line here. You got forty eight hours, yeah, whatever, to give me uh, a Yeah, new they test. said they said to have it done before Thursday. Yeah. And like I did I did I I it was I wasn't in the money, so they didn't have to worry about it. But before the next one, before I could compete again, I had to reproduce the same results I did in okay. the race. And Barney's saying my what I was talking about at my whoosh has has potentially changed. So maybe my they've changed their stance on the my whoosh power passport thing. So okay, that's good. Yeah. So so that's what's. And I think that's good for people to understand here. This isn't an initial annulment or no opportunity to rectify or something like that. Like generally the assumption is here that that the racer and the team would be notified. They would have an opportunity to provide additional supplemental, you know, performance verification to prove. Um, and well, I appreciate that they give them the opportunity to yeah. prove. Yeah. And that they do it hopefully before they make it public, right? So you aren't what I was just praising my wish for, right? Like every annulment's not chastised as a cheat. Um, everyone needs to keep in mind too, you can get an old for a performance verification problem that might be a technical issue that's out of your control too. Um, trainers <clears throat> do funny things, right? And, and yeah, you're not going to stop mid-race and say, you, you know when it happens, right? You know, like, oh, that felt really good. And mm -hmm. it shouldn't have been that good or whatever. Like as a writer, you will know when you're at that level, right? If Barney's trainer is reading 3% over, I promise you Barney knows his trainer reads 3% over. He's going to be like, I had an amazing day. And he's going to go back and be like, oh, my trainer went south, right? That happens, right? Things break. So um, you Wait, can't you, always assume bad intention. You, you can figure that out? If I have a really good day, on the bike, there's been times where I'll go back and look at my duels and like, no, the trainer actually was a little over. Like, and I rec recognize that like, I, I shouldn't have been able to hang on there and it'll be three, oh, two or 3% off. I can't off. wait like, for it to do it itself. I would feel, I would feel <laughs> that kind of difference in a performance in a race. Yeah. I, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot more than you think. With my V4, it, it happened. I know with my V4, it happened. So. I know with the V6, I've I've been pretty spot on. But well, that happened the in the Canadian Nationals in the age category. There was a couple guys that got DQ'd. They weren't cheating. They just mispaired primary yeah, and right. secondary. Yeah. And it, the everyone got the letter. The rule is the rule. Yeah. The rule was the rule, and everyone got the letter. Yeah. And they even said in the letter they weren't cheating. It's just the rules, the rule, and they mispaired. And sorry. I, I got a, I got a, I got a rule that wasn't a rule. <laughs> I was a B, I'm B, letter B, in Zwift. I raced in a B race, raced, and I was, I don't exist in the results. Yeah, Lee's like confused again. This is the Echelon race one that I broke away with Mullins. So the rule is the rule. Okay. But you could have selected A. If you knew you were an A, why didn't you select A? Right? I'm gonna <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna play this with yeah, public yeah. air, yeah, right? Totally, like that. totally sour grapes. Totally well, sour grapes. Like, you, you should have known you felt really good the morning yeah. of the race and picked a different category because you were feeling good that day. 
But what if I just had a really good day and I got upgraded to A? I'm not really an A. I just had a good day. What if I'm more nervous doing races than I am with power performance? And so I do better in performance tests than I do in races. Or I do really well in races <laughs> and I don't do well in performance tests. We need to do a whole episode on excuses, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's like my whatever. Ruby. <laughs> groovy Ruby. Ruby. Let's go to Groovy Ruby. Let's do uh, it. So I We're only an hour and a half in, Lee. We're I was going to say, it starts go. off with the Zwift HUD. That's how this whole starts off with. Okay. Is, you know, I put my bike back on the trainer. I thought, uh, now I'm going to do some riding here. Riding in Zwift. Hold on, let me jump HUD. in. Let me, let, me, let me do a little bio. Lee doesn't actually like riding inside. He doesn't. He does it be out of uh, necessity because of where he lives and the weather and stuff. But you really don't, if you could ride outside without any issue, like if you lived in San Diego, I don't think you, I think I'd know you, you wouldn't be inside. No, I probably wouldn't because yeah. the rain starts here in October yeah, yeah. and then it rains till yeah. March. So it's like, I don't know. I hate getting We really wet. don't really, we really don't know why Lee is on this show because he's not really a fan of riding inside, but... He's a fan of Ruby. And so well, this is this is started because you're like, look, I'm I'm back in. I'm back well, in. I, I put my bike on the trainer. Started. Was like, I'm the weather was bad. So I'm like, I'm gonna get some training in, you know, just do some riding. I mean, I do appreciate indoor riding because it's quick. It's in my garage, done. Let's do this. Zwift man. Like we talked about this before with the Hey, look at this. We got 13 kilometers of new roads, but we have 3,000 kilometers of new routes. Every route ends on the same point. And I was like, I'm motivated to finish these routes. I'm like, look at this list. I have routes that I haven't finished yet. So I'm going to like try to finish these routes. I'm sick of going up the damn Mayan climb for the fifth time to finish route five of 10 and the HUD. Come on now. So I was like, hey, I rode Ruby three years ago quite a bit, raced quite a bit. It was good. You know, we're an esports podcast. We should branch out. We talk a lot about Indie Velo. We rant on Zwift all the time. You know, my whoosh, people are racing sure. in my whoosh. A show of hands on this show. Who has used Ruby and raced in Ruby? No, not race. I used Ruby like four I raced in Ruby. No, you guys never raced in Ruby. You just tried it. Right, oh, I tried okay. it in Ruby. Hey, Long time you ago. Raced, okay. It I've was never actually downloaded pretty it. good. Then this is old Ruby. This is two, old three Ruby. years ago, Ruby. Yeah, yeah. I raced in it. It was a Belgian race. I think it was a like a Flanders or something. Some Flanders Belgian thing. Was it Ruby was originally old. like a Cyclops branded thing? Yes, I was thinking it was a Cirrus, it was like part yeah. of the Cyclops thing. slash. Yeah, because yeah, actually that's how I first got into Ruby is I had yeah. a Cyclops Magnus wheel on trainer was the very oh, wow. first smart trainer that i ever bought and it came with like free three months of ruby and i used to use that what drove me nuts originally about ruby was the avatars had shoulders that were six feet wide with oh, yeah, 20 yeah, inch waists yeah and i was just like yeah. but the racing yeah actually my wife i bought the trainer for her and she hates indoor riding <laughs> so anyways the uh, family that loves indoor riding, yeah. yeah. There you go. And during the early stages of COVID, Ruby had some awesome stage races. Cycling BC put on like a three race stage race. It was great. Then Swift took over. I'm not paying for two accounts because I'm like, pick one, stick with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Swift was just been annoying me lately annoys me all the time you know so i'm like hey let's go check ruby out we have a guy that we ride with on the weekend he's always ruby ruby so i signed up seven day free trial apparently eight months ago they had a massive update completely overhauled their website the in-game ui it is they've done some updates because they i think they partnered with little little trick Yes. As well, yeah, they have a lot of advertising for that going on. I lurk a I lot of every once in a while. I like that. I sprinkle in is, my Ruby. I guess, like with the update, it's still the same thing. It's live videos. It is still AR, yeah. oh, it's AR, AR, yeah. Augmented reality, everyone. A lot of people, I think, 
when RGT shut down, a lot of people from RGT went to Ruby. Ruby feels yeah. very much like RGT. Physics. Now, what do you mean feel? The look. Oh, physics, physics yeah. wise. That's the one thing with Zwift. Hey, Zwift, if you're going down a 3% grade at 60 kilometers an hour, you probably can't pedal. Zwift always has that resistance. There's always that resistance. You could be going down a 10% hill at 80K an hour and you could still pedal. Ruby, mm -hmm. once you hit 45, like my bike, um, the gearing on my bike, about 45, 50 is where I stop pedaling. Zero resistance on your trainer. You're spinning out. Like it feels more realistic. They have dialed the elevation, you know, towards training, you know, towards your trainer. But anyways, I jumped on Ruby and I'm like, was actually kind of shocked at how much I've enjoyed it for the last week. I know oh, I've we spammed know. everyone on Discord because it's like, I don't think anyone really knows, you know, everyone sticks There's to the a lot, usuals. Yeah, yeah. I think this is good. This is good for other people to hear. This entire week, that little meme where the guy's got the uh, conspiracy theory board and all that stuff there, and he's all strung out with the cigarette. That's a Lee going over Ruby, man. He has oh, been down well, there. When I dive hole. in, <sighs> I, I researched yeah. the crap out of stuff. So I dove in because I even it's, went on the Ruby yeah. Facebook page. I oh. actually had to get accepted into it. And I put a long ass post about, you know, people who've been on Ruby. I said, I want to hear from you. If you've been on Ruby for like a long time, let me hear from you because I want to know, do you feel the same way that longtime users of Zwift feel? You know, like if you come into something new, you're excited because it's new. And yeah. was I having that Ruby excitement going, wow, this is cool. This is new. This is exciting. But someone who's been on Ruby for seven years, do you still feel that way? And actually, I got an overwhelming responses on their Facebook page where yeah. people are like, it's it's funny, there's a division. Most of the people who like Ruby are like, I hate crowds. People <laughs> suck. <laughs> and <Antisocial>. so <laughs> almost everyone that responded was like, I rode in Zwift and there's too many people on the roads. You know, and people's response in Ruby, because in Ruby, you can actually turn off other people. If you're riding oh, a route well. and there's 50 other people, you can be like, nope, I don't want the." <laughs> and so <laughs> it was quite interesting. But the video quality has gotten really good. It was pretty good back then, but they spent, I think, a lot of time doing custom routes. Some of the interesting things, Vuelta. Yeah. Every stage this is really cool. The moment the stage drops, they have three routes in Ruby the day of the stage that you can ride that have been filmed specifically for a Ruby. Like impressive. I would just, it's been a week, maybe in a month, I might be like, it's the worst thing ever. But right now I'm <laughs> pretty impressed at the level of where they've moved to their UI, their search function, their website links to their app, which links to the game. You can go on their website, pick a route and it'll say, do you want to turn Ruby on and ride this? Sure, I do. Ruby opens from their website. Oh, wow. Oh, you're damn. on an event. You pick an event and it says, hey, your event starts in 10 minutes. You should, boom, it opens. Oh, so just, that's cool. you know, I'm going to so, keep going. I enjoy the real videos, but, you know, we'll see. I'm actually stream some of that. I was just going to your stream and I'm like, I, I, no, I don't see I actually any haven't. I've just been enjoying the people-less <laughs> the sol <laughs> solitude. <laughs> yeah. But no, I actually haven't. I, my, I haven't done any indoor streaming in quite a while. So I probably will be doing a bunch more in the near future. Yeah. If, from everything Zavarisa said, it, it sounds really good really interesting and I, and here's the question i know they teased that where you could take your gopro footage or your whatever your gpx That's, file and make a route is that there yet no that is actually what sort of triggered me moving back to ruby because i saw that announcement at like eurobike or Eurobike. something yeah where they said hey ruby the next thing that they're going to be doing is you can take your gopro footage make a route make your own race with your own footage because i think yeah. you can submit your own footage but it takes they have to approve it where they're actually making it like a magic roads where you can take a gpx route or your 
GoPro footage and they'll be like, here's your route, which, yeah, when I looked, when I looked at that, that, that reminded me of something I used to do with my IRL writing is I could GoPro and Garmin had, had a video editing app that you could upload a fit file and a GPX file. And like you pick a point to line them up. Like at this intersection, I'm going to line up my video with my fit file and it syncs it all up yeah. and you can do the overlays. Then it's like, to me, that's what I was thinking about. And the magic road was something similar to that. It's like you upload your fit file or your GPX along with the video and they sync them up. And like, it's, it's you writing your TT course you know, your video, like the whole thing, like you can do the whole thing. And it sounds like you could even maybe just go drive a course and upload Well, that's actually uh, like that. interesting because I have, that's what actually I wanted to do was basically suction cup my camera to the like <laughs> hood of my car and go start driving routes to submit them. Yeah. I, I think it's Zwift, a wonderful idea. And while Zwift is raising prices, Ruby is cheaper. And that was my next question. What's what's is there, like $12 is there a free trial? A month. There's a seven day free trial, so you okay. can cancel it. But they have like package deals where you can join up with a group of five buddies and pay six bucks a month That's as a group. Cool. I'm back. Sorry, there was somebody at the door. It's like twenty seven ninety nine US for five people, and they give loyalty discounts. The longer you're a, a paid hmm. user the more money you get off on your yeah. subscription i did I think, enjoy the race when i did it i and i like the hud well it's if you like rgt it's like the same yeah it's like it's the, the like, video thing is a different is something because there's like stuttering when you go slow yes it has to sort of fill the gaps the newer videos maybe the videos are i better, did notice but, because I rewrote a route that I did three years ago, and there was some weird stuttering. The all the Vuelta, they did a great job. There's no stuttering at all. Mm. It was totally okay. smooth. The quality is good, but yeah, and it seems to be they actually <laughs> most of the feedback I got from the Facebook post was they listen or have been listening. Cool. It just was refreshing going to a website. And it's funny because our standards are very low. Like you go to the Zwift website, you go to the profile, and it's just like, there it is. Like, no, our standards are high. The our delivery, standards are high. On, the delivery <laughs> to oh, meet our standards. Yes, 100%. Is low. Yeah. So when you go to like the Ruby website, it's not that it's outstanding, it's a normal website that works. It has things in places where they yeah. should be. Yeah. It's much better than it used to be. Because I remember, I remember that old like uh, the old Ruby website was very clunky. It seemed over engineered, and it yeah. was like it, it was the white background with like the blue. I think I remember this. It was like that weird blue uh, highlight. This is more purpley, kind of has its own feel to it. It has it's a very polished look to it, and the the bottom of the screen has the profile, has the gradients in there, but also like. It, it i liked the way that the i remember my the race that i did it was uh, it wasn't attended by a lot of people but you would sign up for the race like you would do with other stuff yeah here it is there's probably an old version of it but the ruby also they also i think we've talked about this before they have the uh uh i mean they have challenges and events and stuff like that but the outside stuff i think you talked about maybe you talked about this while i was talking is the front door or the ruby door also door. sinks your outside rides yeah into that's ruby. it and you get i think you, you well i don't get know if credit. they did still you get credit yeah you would get coins or you get in-game currency yes for your for, outside ride. for your outside stuff so like they and have a training calendar Swift. this is <laughs> yeah but yeah the All roots right. <laughs> yeah it's very cool so here's I'm going like, to try it. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to, I'm actually going to try it again. So yeah, this stage one you did, or this is something else, but it's like plus three, yeah, if you click on open an app, 318 actually, gold. if I click this, it'll open in the game. It'll actually yeah. open up Ruby and just go straight into the root. And it, this is, this is pretty cool. Like if I want to ride the stage, it looks clean. Yeah. It looks clean. And well, then and if you go, a, the go fact, because I mean, Brian White has been talking about this for years. Zwift sponsors the women's yeah. Tour de France. 
<laughs> how is there oh, not yeah. Yeah, a yeah. Tour de France route in Zwift to coincide? Yeah, like even along. one route. Yeah, Ruby. Yeah, does multiple routes for each stage. There's they'll so this yeah. one here, you're riding like one of the hills. They'll they don't give you the full like stage. You get like 20k you know, sections. So it'll be like this hill of stage two, this flat section of stage two, you know, this finish of stage two, but they release these the, the day of the stage, like the stage came out and you can ride this and the video, like say the video quality is That's pretty cool. impressive. Very cool. All right. I'm, I'm getting low energy now because I've been up for so long. Oh, do we have anything else? Cause I'm, I'm <laughs> kind of ready to shut it down. Oh, we gotta walk the dog. Uh, did check the dog, for a the doggy, I'm gone. I'm gone a day, and the dog already ate her like eye drops thing. Gabrielle just sent me. Out. Oh, because <laughs> we get because she has like red eyes, and so you there's like little yeah. over the counter like drops I put in, and I guess she got a hold of it and chewed it up. So fantastic! I'm, I'm waiting for a week, and I'm hoping that my my household survives. My my daughter gets her learner's permit tomorrow, and I won't be home for uh. five days. My my best. three my three older children drove once with their mother and never again. And she's gonna have I to do that. five days that. with mom before dad's back home. So yeah. Do you take her to the yep. parking lot? Or do you uh, drive around? I pretty much you know, I'm like the the mama bird throwing the, the, the kid out of the nest. Like we'll yeah. just hey, go get on the on ramp. Let's go. <laughs> yep, step on it. <laughs> <with> my daughter. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean I'll 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 ease her into it, but mom's a little bit of a uh, overreactor in the passenger seat, oh, even yeah. when I'm driving. So the kids yeah. make it she about three blocks, the, her, and her, then yeah, her own brake like, pedal okay, on her side. I can't take it. Yeah, their their reaction to mom's reaction is worse than what's actually happening <laughs> on the road, right? Like yeah, yep, right on. All right. Yeah, my daughter get her license here in two weeks, so. Oh, avoid license. the northern panhandle, West Virginia. Avoid it. All right. Well, I flew over. I didn't fly over Peoria, but I looked at it on the map. You're close. You probably flew over me. Apple. And now, yes, yeah, I think I was north. Where are you? I looked at, we didn't fly over Pittsburgh. I don't know if you're like, uh, near Pittsburgh. Yeah. But yeah. Basically, I'm kind of an. I flew to Minneapolis, and then from Minneapolis, I flew to New York. Otherwise, if I would have flown from oh, San Jose, I'm I would have flown yeah. over you guys. Yeah, I would have flown. Yeah, but you I didn't flew take a north flight. to Minneapolis. I didn't. I didn't have the luxury. I was flying out of San Jose. So yeah. on that note, play the music and get out of here. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Hey, see you guys. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.